What's going on YouTube? OCD for EDC here. And what I got for your face balls today, we got some packages here. Uh, one large one, we got one small flat rate box, and then we got an envelope here uh, from multiple different people. So we are going to get into these. Uh, I am joined by my lovely wife, Molly. Say hello. Hello. Uh, but first, um, I'm going to show you something different here. So I'm going to slide these out of the way for a moment. And I'm going to show you this. Um, because this uh, epic piece right here, this is showing off my uh, my daughter's sweet, sweet uh, balloon, <laughs> balloon animal skills. Uh, so uh, just... Uh, it's to, a new species. It, it's a new species, yeah. I think she was going for amoeba or um, uh, some kind of lichen virus. or something. A virus. <laughs> yeah, maybe virus is what, what this is going for. But uh, yeah, so she... She gets uh, from time to time. Uh, she likes the uh, uh, boxes from uh, KiwiCo, and she likes to build things and whatnot. So this is one that uh, came and, and it it uh, you build uh, an air pump, and then it came with a bunch of balloons. So I think this was her first creation. Um, and I asked her what it was. She didn't quite know, uh, but she she gave it to me, and so I thought I'd share it with y'all. Uh, so there you go. We've got this thing. <laughs> Perfect. So there's that. On to this. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know what's in this uh, package right here. And yeah, that's kind of what I figured it was just by the way it felt. These are stickers. Here, you can check out a few. Uh, these are stickers from the Eggs and Ham. Eggs and Ham 22. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, this happens to be uh, David and Katie. Uh, they are part of the community and just recently started a channel. So if you guys have not went over and subbed to the Eggs and Ham, I'll throw a link up in the description. Uh, but go and check out their channel. They're awesome people. And actually, in more news, uh, we will be joined by Mr. and Mrs. Eggs and Ham. Uh, this coming Monday uh, will be April 26th on another channel uh, over at Everyday City Carry, Ray and Kelly. Uh, we will all be on that channel. And for the first time, what's going to happen? You're going to see my ugly face. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. So uh, it will be Molly's first face reveal on the YouTubes. And, and for those that haven't seen me as well, uh, I will also be on there. And uh, we're just going to do some, uh, you know, jackassery and whatnot. We're going to have a good time. So Monday night... April 26th on Everyday City Carries channel. Uh, myself, my wife, uh, David and, and uh, Katie, as well as Ray and Kelly will be on the show. Maybe some other people. Ray was talking about uh, having maybe some other people on there. And I think we start at 9.30 Eastern, so 8.30 Central uh, or something like that. Yeah. Mm, go go time check out. Zones. Yeah. Go yeah. check out our time zone. Well, map. I don't remember if that. <laughs> I know the difference be, between Central and Eastern, but I don't remember if that was exactly the time. Maybe it was 9 p.m. Central or 9 p.m. Eastern. Nine. So 8 p.m. Central. Uh, something like that. Uh, but go and check it out. Should be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah. So hopefully you guys can make it. Join us for that Monday night, April 26th. All right. We'll set one of these right up here. All right. Now, let's get into this package. I kind of think that this is probably going to be... Which one should I use for a little unboxing? Those are the ones I have handy. That one. That one? Okay. We're going to use the old uh, S90V full-size Crooked River for an unboxing knife. I'm kind of thinking that this is probably going to be... Uh, knives for mod work. Uh, I might be wrong on that. I don't know. I can't remember exactly what this is, what this is, but we're going to find out together. We got some packing peanuts. We've got a pouch and I think, I think that's it. I think he pulled out, but I can't see it. You can't see it? <laughs> yeah, well. Where'd you it know. go? It's, you did uh, pull some out, right? I, well, I did. I don't know. Where'd it go? Um, Classic. <laughs> right on, right on. So we got some uh, digi camo here, and this is the ADV. Oh, I know what this is. I know what it is. 
Oh, oh. Dollar Bills. Ooh. <laughs> yep. Hey. So we got some mod work happening here on the ADV Tack Butcher. Oh yeah. So this is going to be kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to do some uh, some videoing on this thing because she ain't going to be black no more. <laughs> uh, so we'll uh, we'll get this thing churched up and. Yeah, super cool. So this is an Andre de Villiers design. Uh, really cool knife. This is, I'm pretty, yeah, Tack Butcher. And this happens to be from 2015. So back in the day, big, thick, check, chunky, uh, heavy, cool, cool ass knife. Big old giant flipper tab, but really good in hand. Feels really good in hand, actually. Uh, you want to check it out? Does the old spin? AD nope. No. Does not spin. Oh no. Oh no. Can't take you anywhere. Sorry. I'm still not sure about that. <laughs> yeah. He's not sure about he's that. He's not sure about that. Yeah. Shut up, Suri. <laughs> okay. This so what is do you big think? is a big boy. It is a big boy. I, I kinda like it though. It's yeah. A, it's not bad. It's gonna lend itself well to some modifications. Mm-hmm. Uh, like the milling pattern on the handle, uh, super cool. Yeah, definitely, gonna be a cool one to do. A faux show. She thick with two C's. That's right, girl. You huge. You plump it. <laughs> right on. Okay. Well, since we're gonna mod this, we're gonna use this to unbox this. Uh, just I feel like that's fitting and. So that's the deal here. We're going to use the old uh, Tack Butcher. Here we go, here we go. Are you noticing how attentive your daughter dog is at watching you do well, your performance right yeah, now? I, it's because she has a very uh, very keen nose, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be things in here that she would <laughs> love to put in her mouth hole. I see. Well, so She is... Yeah, she's watching closely. She hasn't moved since we started. Yeah. I'll post pictures. Yeah, but, well, exactly. Look. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so this package was sent to us uh, by Me With Knives, and he sent us some local fare from his area, uh, and we're going to check it out and see what we got here. So we have some... Schneider's of Hanover, filled, I love me some peanut Classic. butter filled pretzels. Those are fantastic. Are the ones we have here Schneider's? Yeah, yeah, this, we have this brand. Yep. They don't come in a bag like that, they come in a Yeah, the bags jar. look different. Well, well, you're talking, yeah, you're talking about the ones at Menards and at mm. Fleet Farm and mm -hmm. stuff. And those, the ones in the jar might not be this brand, but oh. we certainly have this brand in our stores. And I kind of think these are, uh... Yeah, yeah, Pennsylvania. That's what I was thinking. It was Pennsylvania, Berlin, Pennsylvania. Yeah, so, okay. Schneider's of Hanover. That's a local Pennsylvania thing that's gone national. You know, uh, doing it to them. All right. So we've got some uh, tasty cakes, peanut butter candy cakes. Ooh. Which those look pretty good. Those look delicious. Those look pretty. It's only oh. ninety-five calories per cake. Oh, dang. They're probably this big. Yeah. Right. <laughs> This diet cake. All right, so now we have funky? some more tasty cake, butterscotch mm. crimpets. I'm not familiar with a crimpet. No, n neither am I. But uh, let's see here. They're Where are these crimped form from the Flowers family bakers? Family of bakers. Uh, sponge cakes with butterscotch icing is what this is. Yeah, Philadelphia, PA. So this is local, local PA stuff here. All the way around. I don't find butterscotch um, stuff too often around these parts. Well, only at, at nursing homes. That's and true. <laughs> Are you guys all old in Pennsylvania? So we've got uh, some Lance Variety Pack. We certainly have this brand here as well, but definitely the peanut butter, the cheesy peanut butter crackers are legit. Uh, and then, uh-oh, we have the Utz brand. Uh, these are crab chip. These are... Potato chips with Chesapeake Bay crab seasoning. Mmm, that sounds good, actually. Okay. 
I like crab. All right, and then we've got some hers Old Bay seasoned cheese curls. Old Oven Bay seasoned with real cheese. Yeah. What so, is this Old Bay you speak of? You don't, know, you don't know Old Bay? No. It's a, a seafood seasoning. Oh no. It's good. The Old Bay is really good. So okay. these are obviously from Eastern PA. I probably uh, not had Western. it as a kid and hey, just Emma, she's stop? hungry. <laughs> Go get back. Get out of here. Is very hungry. Come on, get out of here. Sit. Uh, Sit. So, anywho, all right. So we've got the Old Bay seasoned cheese curls, the crab chip, the Lance crimpets, candy cakes, and peanut butter filled pretzels. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. That's a lot that's, of snacks. Th that's a lot of snacks. This is oven baked with real cheese. I don't so, like real cheese. I only like fake cheese. I only, no, only, like, I only like that gold fake cheese that oh, sticks to your fingers. I do recognize that. Yeah, yeah. there you go. There's the can of Old Bay. Yeah, you've seen that before. Yeah. Old Bay seasoning. Yes. Good stuff. But on these, I, I, yeah, they don't sell these around here. So we certainly <laughs> also have this Utz brand. Um, I've never had an Utz. They, yeah, they have. They sell them in gas stations, truck stops, and stuff around here, chips. Uh, but uh, certainly they do not sell this flavor uh, around here. That's for damn sure. Uh, the Chesapeake Bay Crab Seasoning. So are these a local, yeah, Hanover PA. Hey, Schneider's of Hanover. Hey. Um, there you go. All right, well, uh, Let's see here. Well, my wife just recently had surgery, and she's on a pretty strict diet uh, because of that. Um, but I feel like I got to get into these crimpets just because I've I never heard like of I this before. Just, just a little, a little, mouth little feel. taste, a little mouth feel. All right, is this the one then, or what? Do you want to try something different? Yeah, I'm gonna I guess this is probably the easiest one for yeah, you. Yeah, the easiest. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna get involved in this one real quick here on camera, just to. Give you guys a look, see at what a uh, crimpet is, and I'm just I'm just going out on a limb here, and I'm saying that there's not going to be that's not overpowering butterscotch, yeah. which is going to be good. It looks very mild, yeah, which I can get behind for sure, for sure, because I think you could go wrong with this combination. Like if you just went like full on fake butterscotch yeah, taste, I that think would, would be, be too, too much. much. But we'll see. We'll see how the PA represents <laughs> represents the butterscotch. And then you got a little texture to your crimpet here, uh, a little right, a crimp, if you will. A, a crimp. There you go, crimp it. There you go. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, you want to grab that top of that? All right. Need to tune my blades up a bit here. All right. We'll set this here. First, we gotta have to do the smell test. Yeah, it doesn't smell like it doesn't smell like butterscotchy at all, actually. Oh, it, it smells like heaven. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like heaven. All right, you want to go in first? Damn you, surgery! <laughs> here, I'm gonna take a little bite here. Here, you drag it. It's delectable. It's pretty good. I gotta be honest. Like it's the best. Like I'd say it's more of like a pound cake than a sponge cake. Yeah, it's a little. It's a little denser. Yeah. Um, a little more dense and and the icing. Like, do you get butterscotch at all? No. Yeah. No, I don't either. Um, the icing to me is like, more like just a buttercream kind of. Right. I like icing. this. What Pennsylvania thinks is butterscotch. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yep. Mimi, are you sad you can't have some? Maybe you'll have some. Maybe just a little. Yeah, I got to be honest. The crimpet. Can you freeze that box for me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you can come back to it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm going to say that the old uh, crimpets, butterscotch is kind of false advertisement. 
So if you haven't tried one of these because it says butterscotch and you're not a fan. Don't uh, let that confront you. Yeah, don't let that confront you because they don't taste like butterscotch at all. Uh, they just taste like a vanilla kind of buttercream icing with a, uh, on pound cake. Uh, is, yeah. Uh-huh. And let's see here if I can show off the sort of consistency that we're talking about here. Not really a sponge cake, more like pound cake, but... Are you giving it two thumbs up? If I had more thumbs, I would give them more. <laughs> You'd give them more, huh? Yeah. Emma, put- can I borrow your thumbs, lady? Yeah. You're putting all your thumbs on it. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> well, we'll, uh, we'll have to get back to you on some of these other things. Do you want to try these from Tasty Cake while we're, while we're in I here? I think it's only right. Okay. Where's the child? Get the child out here. Oh, let me see get the child. See, yeah, let's see what her conclusion is on the crimpets. She can also tell us what the hell this orange thing is. Um, okay. Let's see here. This just in. We have another. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, skills have gotten better. It's a long neck dog. <laughs> is it, oh, okay. Oh. You have to try these snacks. What, what is this? Oh, this is a head? Are these ears. ears and a snout? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's how balloon dogs go. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, I was, yeah. I didn't know the orientation in which you handed me this uh, spectacular piece here. <laughs> so, so first go around was a virus or amoeba. Second go around, we long have, neck dog. We have a long neck dog. Uh, his ears, uh, and this isn't floppy ears, guys. These are vertical standing right. ears. They are the exact same size as the legs. <laughs> just, just letting you know. Uh, and the tail is, it tail's been docked. Yeah. We have a docked tail, and we have a button nose there. So there you go. Okay. You uh, have to try. So this Berkeley is a from Pennsylvania a butterscotch crimpet uh don't let the butterscotch confront you because yeah. it's not butterscotch at all try it <laughs> on our terms <laughs> okay yeah just try it and then let us know what you think of it it's really good in on my opinion yeah 10 out of 10. do you love it it's a lot softer than i expected yeah it's is not it- a is it butterscotchy at all for you? <laughs> no. Yeah, okay. But delicious? <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. Maybe it's just our old taste buds. It's not what I would, like, go out of my way to get, but it's well, not Well, good. So good. keep your yeah. damn hands out of it. <laughs> They're for mom and dad, though. <laughs> yeah, perfect. All right. Now, you, you want to try that? or Here, teen. Why don't you yeah, take the you first bite? You can try that for the first I'll, bite. Okay. I'll take a little tiny this bite. This is from the same brand, Tasty Cakes. This is the Tasty Cake Peanut Butter Candy Cakes. This is cake with chocolate yeah. flavored coating and peanut butter filling with a cake in the middle. Some sort of pound cake, sponge cake, something. What do you think? I think you'll like that. Oh my. Was that good? It's a soft Girl Scout cookie. Oh, it's a it's a soft peanut butter patty. <laughs> is yeah. that what it is? And you know how I love a peanut butter patty. <laughs> peanut, you cannot go wrong with a peanut butter patty. All right, here. Oh, we didn't do the smell test. It smells like peanut butter. Yeah, yeah it, sm- it just smells like peanut butter. Um, all right. It's so good. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have oh, to yeah. say my fave out of these though is the crimpet. Really, mm-hmm. crimpet's the fave. This. This absolutely tastes like a peanut butter patty, just without soft. a cookie. I think and soft. I just really like the crunch of that cookie. Mm-hmm. So it's deducting points for me. Yeah, I concur on that. But but I'm gonna still, say still ten out of ten. Tasty cakes got it going on. Yeah, all the way hey, around. Tasty cakes. Are there any more kinds of you? <laughs> yeah, uh, but this is baked deliciously since 1914. So, you know, places have been around that long, generally know what they're doing. They know how to do it, too. Mm-hmm. 
So we also have got some hers Old Bay Season Cheese Curls, oven baked with real cheese. Is that spam? No. No, oh. Old Bay. Okay, I was going to say, I thought no, that was Old Bay, not, not spam. <laughs> It does look spammy, though, from... It's a seasoning. At a glance. It's a seafood seasoning, but think of it like kind of like a Lowry's. Yeah. That's kind of how it is. And this is um, a little Utz brand, the crab chip. Uh, these are with Chesapeake Bay crab seasoning. Again, similar. They don't taste like crab. They have crab <laughs> seasoning on the chips. You understand? Yes. And then we have Schneider's Ann over. Which you're oh, Peanut butter filled yes. pretzels. Yes. You're familiar. And, and you're familiar with And you're Lance. familiar with the Lance stuff. As one does. Yep. Mm-hmm. So there we go. Uh, we got the tasty cakes in the hizzy. And we've got, the, we've got the Old Bay crab seasoning going on. And then we've got the Tack Butcher, uh, which... You'll see more on this guy coming up soon. And all the snacks. We got a blood blister. Oh, no. Uh, and, and then, you know, go check out the eggs and ham. And the snacks were sent to us. Me with knives. Yes. Me with knives sent the snacks. So thank you so much. We got a ton of snacks here. So that was very kind of you. And we greatly appreciate it. Maybe we we'll love... do the chips on the live this weekend or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll try the chips then. Um, but uh, definitely don't. Yeah. I don't want to feel like eating seasoned chips post these cake things. Yeah, I don't think it'll bode well. Those, yeah, those aren't... Uh, we could do the cake after the chips, but not the other way around. Right. Right. Yeah, this we, is a... We done did screwed up. Yeah. Yep. That's the wrong order for these things. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, thanks so much, guys, for sending these things along. Uh, if you guys want to pick up some OCD for EDC gear, you can go check out the website, info, or uh, OCD for EDC.com. <laughs> Uh, we also have got some sick tumblers like this one right here in silver. It's got my Maker's Mark logo on the back. And uh, yeah, it's really so cool. Oh, sick, bro. 30 ounce uh, tumblers that are uh, ribbed for his or her pleasure. Oh. And uh, yeah, we have several other things. Uh, so go check out the website. And if you guys want to uh, contact us, ask questions, whatever, there's the email address. Hit us up there. Or you can hit us up on Instagram, uh, you know, whatever. So go below. You can find a link to the eggs. Go check them out. Super cool people. And tune in on Everyday City Carry, April, uh, Monday, April 26th. Uh, we're going to be live, and my wife will reveal her beautiful face. So thanks so much, guys, for joining us. Beauty makeup or no? Comment <laughs> below. <laughs> we out. Peace.